As an adult, I've developed a peculiar routine, a daily pilgrimage to the creek that borders my small town. Unlike most people, my morning doesn't kick off until I've had my fix of the rich, aromatic coffee that I've come to rely on. It's my lifeline, my elixir, and the catalyst that propels me into the day. The allure of a freshly brewed cup is enough to coax me out of bed, despite the tempting embrace of my cosy blankets. Vacations become a logistical challenge as I meticulously plan my waking hours around the nearest coffee shop's opening time. The alarm is set with military precision, but my innate love for sleep often thwarts my well-laid plans. The struggle is real, for how can one shower, dress, dry hair, and apply makeup without the reassuring jolt of caffeine? It's an indispensable part of my morning ritual, a non-negotiable step in the dance of dawn. Yet, paradoxically, I consider myself a morning person. The early hours from 5 to 9 a.m. are my golden productivity window. But there's a caveat. I must have that steaming mug in hand. The bitter taste is softened by a splash of collagen creamer or the comforting embrace of oat milk. Heavy cream, though tempting, triggers memories of holiday indulgence with the caveat of jawline breakouts. In my morning pages, pre-dawn journaling takes an unexpected turn, often morphing into a peon to the quality of my morning coffee, especially when I'm a guest elsewhere. It's a reflection of society's acceptance of the entwined relationship between mornings and caffeine, a dependency I wear with pride. But it wasn't always this way. In childhood, the dawn marked the beginning of my adventures, usually with Barbie dolls as companions. My parents allowed these early escapades as long as I stayed quietly in my room. Yet, the most cherished moments were the outings with my father, forming a delightful ritual that, in my memories, blended into one seamless event. He would wake me gently, the world still wrapped in darkness, signaling it was time to go. Clad in mismatched leggings and long underwear, I eagerly hopped into the back of his 19999 Ford Ranger. The mini seats unfolded, and with the heater on full blast, we embarked on a journey from our quiet suburb to the heart of morning delights. The destination was clear, the 8 to 12, a beacon of early morning availability. While Dad got his coffee, I indulged in a paper travel mug of hot chocolate and a coveted treat, a small box of white powdered doughnuts. Pure sugar, messy and irresistibly sweet, they epitomized the joy of those morning escapades. Armed with my treasure trove of doughnuts, we ventured towards the reservoir, making a crucial stop at the tackle shop. The styrofoam bowl with its lid held a fascination, a wriggling mass of worms, my favorite bait. Neon jars of artificial powders and less appetizing jars of fish eggs also beckoned, creating a sensory symphony of colors and textures. The journey continued to the shore, where I had my own small tackle box and a yellow rod adorned with Snoopy. Dad taught me the art of casting, and with bated breath, I waited for the telltale tug on the line. Sometimes, the catch found its way home, filling our cooler with small catfish or the occasional bluegill that we admired before releasing. The mornings were more than just fishing. They were a communion of silence, broken only by the sounds of nature. Sandwiches from the cooler, sodas for Dad, and the remnants of powdered doughnuts sustained us as we absorbed the tranquility of the lake. One memorable morning, a majestic deer crossed our path, freezing in the dawn's embrace. It was a silent encounter, a shared moment, etched in the canvas of our creekside adventures. The allure of the creek, 
the anticipation of a morning catch and the shared silence with my father, all wrapped in the comforting aroma of coffee, have become the tapestry of my morning rituals, a homage to the innocence and joy of childhood expeditions. Thank you, dear audience, for taking the time to immerse yourselves in this story. Your attention and engagement mean a lot, and I appreciate you being part of this imaginative journey. If you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to share them. Your presence is truly valued. Thank you.